Hello, my marvelous muses. Look what day it is. It is a Temu haul day, guys, and this is a good size order. This is two orders together. So, uh, grab yourself a coffee, Pepsi, a Coke, whatever, Mountain Dew, whatever you drink, water, wine, beer, whatever it may be. Grab one because you might need it. So, so this is two orders that I had actually bought that came together. I placed them about two days apart. At least it's supposed to be two orders. We're going to make sure here. So, I'm going to... I haven't opened it. I'm dying to open it. This has 11 molds. Plus. Whatever else in here. That I have ordered. <laughs> so, that needs... And get it cut open here. I'm gonna apologize ahead of time for the plastic guys because I don't open it ahead of time. I open it with you guys so you guys can see what we got. I got my tape measure here, handy dandy tape measure, so we can measure anything and see what sizes they are. I'm just gonna sit this right here beside me and pull out of it and see what we got. All right, first thing I see here, I know what this is. This is a snake mold. I'm just gonna move this out of the way because it's like getting in my way. It's getting in my way. So I've redone my art room. Oh, I did not know these were here. Okay. Well, I bought, I've got doubles of one thing now. So, I got a snake mold, but I did not realize it had these little bitty ones on it. Can you see this, guys? It's got pretty good details in it. Even the little ones have really good scales in them. Nice, huh? And it is... I'm going to take measure here. Wow. This mold's 11 inches long. 11 by 7. Wow. That's cool. Although he doesn't look like he has any eyes. Which kind of bothers me, but that's alright. I know how to make eye caps. I watched Hoppin' Frog Hobbies, and she showed how she did her eye caps for her frogs and stuff. So, uh, we may try those and see if we can do some eye caps, too. But, yeah. So, this is really cool. Very cool mold. Alright. Nice. Now, where can I put these? I'm going to put them right over here with the rest of them. Alright. Next thing I have here, I have another silicone mat. I have the blue one, but I haven't. I'm like, I'm setting up a second area. I'm redoing my art room again. Okay, yeah, I'm redoing my art room again. I got a new shelf. Really nice, tall bookcase. It's got several shelves on it, so I'm redoing, doing some rearranging, and I'm going to end up having another table. I got a table that's level. It's a little smaller than the one I'm using now. It's not quite a four foot. It's probably about a three foot. But it's a heavier table and it's level when you set it up. The top of it doesn't sag because it's metal. And uh, I'm going to put this on it so I have an extra spot for my resin. So when I'm, I could be working on something here, but then I can also have it on my, on the other if I want to be working on something that has to sit for a little while. So that's my plan. They have these silicone molds on there, they have them in pink and blue. And I paid three fourteen for this. And they're good size. They cover this. So Oh, okay, this is nice. 
So this is a get them out here. Nice. It's a silicone door plate. So you could like put somebody's address in it and the family name on it. I thought that's really neat. I thought, how fun would that be to be able to put somebody's name and stuff on there and their address? Their last name and their address on there. And this is the way it goes. Because this is where you'd hang it from the side of the house. And then these two would hang together via these holes. Nice. I like that. Again, it's a good size mold. It is nine and a half inches long by nine and a half inches wide. Yeah, about nine and a half inches wide. Pretty cool. Alright. Well, I don't know what this is. This is the wind chime mold. It comes with the strings, it comes with like beads and stuff here. I just wanted it mainly for this piece here. Because I want to be able to make my own wind chimes. I got my own tubes, if you guys saw a video where I tried to make a wind chime. And my friend, the little glow in the dark, the little glow in the dark animals that we did the other day, I'm going to drill holes in them because my friend wants a glow-in-the-dark sea life wind chime. So I thought rather than so this piece right here and this piece. So I, I'm not worried about these because I'm not doing those. I just want, I want this main piece here in the center to be able to pour, to be able to hang stuff from that's cool they gave me the beads. I got a ton of beads. <laughs> but it gave me some wire, some line. I have this. It's the same stuff I tried to use that I couldn't get it to work last time. But I know now i got to do the fisherman's knot. So, and we might try it eventually with the little circles that come with it. But for now, it's going to be that. And I paid for the... Where are we at? Yeah. Wind chime, where's the wind chime? Huh. I don't know. Thought I wrote it down. Apparently I didn't. Alright. If you guys are interested, I'll put it in the description box. I thought I had it written down, but apparently I missed one. Oh, no. Wind chime. Four forty-nine. Just said, I thought I'd written everything down. Alright. So I got these little bitty... Little bitty teeny tiny gems. Uh... There's leaves, turtles, looks like deer, paw prints, little ghosts, apples, Mickey Mouse ears. I remember buying this. Well, this is the mold for this earring studs. I thought they were bigger, though. Or, I mean, I thought they were more like gems, but yeah, I guess these did work. Little earrings. You can see that. You get the paw prints, deer, turtles, pumpkins, diamonds, butterflies, ghosts, mouse ears, a heart, just a circle, the leaf, and apples. Nice. That's, that'd be a fun resin mold. Perfect for resin. All right, so what do we have here? Oh, this is the, this, 
they are three piece sets and they are assorted variety four seasons and they are clear stickers it's like i don't know if they're individual or if it's a whole sheet of them i've got another set too so well if they're the same we're not going to pull them out this is a yellow set yellow and blue Let me get a black paper so you guys can see this better. Get my black paper here so you guys can see these better. Here we go. What do you think? Aren't these pretty? And you got three sheets. Yeah, this is the first the front side of them wow those are pretty and i paid a dollar 18 and i got another package i don't know if they're i'm i'm hoping i got a different color i'm thinking that maybe that's why i got two packs i can imagine getting two of the same back in here like so all right nice nice how we doing tonight guys hope everyone's having a wonderful evening all right this is a 42 piece cosmo three color set and it's little space charms And they're good sized little charms here. Like, can you see the. Very nice. There's moons and planets and. That's little rocket ships. Oh, you got to see a little rocket ship here. I don't know if my phone's going to focus on this or not. He's a little rocket ship. Isn't that cute? Little big rocket ships, guys. You see all the little things in here? Shooting stars. And that was two dollars and fifteen cents. Not bad, guys. Get a drink of my coffee here for it's cold on me. Move it closer here. Oh, I saw, I saw another resin artist do this the other day, and it was so pretty. It is a flower wall hanging, and she dusted it with different colors of mica powders, and then poured it, and oh my gosh, it turned out gorgeous. It was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I want to say... I want to say the channel, I've been watching her quite a bit here lately. I want to say it's Resin Nut, I think. She does a lot of stuff similar to what I do. We have a similar taste in the stuff, it feels like. Uh, so, eight. Probably about four and a half or five across, depending on where you're at on the mold. And it's so detailed, guys. Look at that. Wow. And that was, did I tell you how much that was? The 
flower and branch mold, two dollars and fifty eight cents. So nice. We have here. Oh, I know what this is. This is a bunny mold. And it is a bunny sitting. And you really can't see it, but it's a 3D bunny, and he's sitting kind of with his paws up. Wow, that's a heck of a mold. That's a nice mold. I'm impressed. Boy, that's going to be fun to get out of there. Eh, it might not be. It's a pretty soft mold, so it shouldn't be too bad to demold. I'm going to try to put this back in here. I'm going to put it in a different bag. I don't want to get all messed up. And that mold was... 648 paid a little more for that but i wanted this bunny so bad i was like oh my god he's so cute he was sitting up on his little sitting up with his little paws out and he was just adorable and i'm like oh i gotta have this little bunny gotta have the bunny all right oh this okay i know what this is another mold A little keychain mold could be a pendant but it is a cat sitting on a moon you see that guys a cat sitting on a moon and it's not a big mold it's only about an inch and a half yeah about an inch and a half inch and three quarters it's not a huge mold but it's cute i like that That would be super cute. Your keychain like that. All right, I like this one too. Oh, no, that's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Have you ever seen the cat self defense things you can buy? They're they have points on them. So if somebody tries to assault you, you put your fingers through here, and you can defend yourself. That's what these are. You have the different ones. These are cat ones. These are like kind of like just stab somebody. These are stab somebody. These are kind of like brass knuckles in a way. But they're going to be made out of resin. So. They're considered defensive mold. There it is. And then when you pour it, you put it on your keychain, and that way if somebody tries to come after you, you can gouge them in the eyes or throat or whatever. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? That one was $5.18. We're going to have so much fun stuff to make. So much fun stuff to make. Okay, here's the second set of these. Oh, these are pretty. And these are different. Alright, we'll open them up just because they're different. Aren't those pretty? Life is a choice, love is not for you. That's what it says at the top of here. But yeah, they're flowers and they're kind of kind of have a gold outline to them. That was why I wanted them. I thought they were so pretty. Very pretty. I'm pretty sure they are stickers. Yeah, they're stickers. Yep. I don't want to take it apart. It was the sticky. But yeah, very cool. And those, like I said, were a dollar eighteen. And you get three sheets of them. 
You never have too many stickers, right? Oh, this is cute. This is a moon candle holder. Hold the tea light. Put this in here like so. Nice. that goes yeah I guess it does does it go like that or does it go like this oh I think it goes like that yeah because then that would sit down in there that makes sense so yeah it is a moon candle holder cute oh my gosh that's cute and that was the moon where's the moon Moon candle holder, three forty one. Okay, I got a another gecko. I have the one little gecko, but he's kind of a he's a little more three D. This is kind of like the um kind of like the seahorse mold, but it's sm a little smaller, and it is a gecko. But he's pretty detailed. Oh, look right here. He's actually really detailed. Surprisingly. Look at the detail inside of the mold. You see that? Very cute. I'm trying to see what he's going to look like there. Yeah, he's going to be cute. I'm excited for these. I'm excited for these guys. I love to see the reptiles and snakes and all that fun stuff. Alright, so I got some post backs to go on the back of those earrings and some of the others to make earrings that don't dangle. I want to make just post earrings because I have the hooks for the dangly earrings. I just didn't have any post backs for these. So I got some of these. They are uh 100 of them in there six millimeter and they were one seventy nine right. so I have another mold here surprise surprise <laughs> This is a treasure box, treasure chest. Oh. And it comes with the little hinges and the little latch for the front. And you pour your box. And then this, I'm assuming, is for the I don't know. I'll have to look at them all. Oh, that's probably for these. What do you snap on to? And then this. Oh, this goes on the end of here. So you pour your resin down in here. And then you pour resin in here. And when you're done, you attach this to the top of here. To the end of here. Like so. No. How does that work? Technically, this should go down here. Oh, that's what you do. Okay. Duh. <laughs> I'm like... So, yeah. That's how it looks when you're done. Makes sense. So, you pour your resin in here until you're flush right here to the end. Then you pour this end and it goes on here. And that's what gives you the design going across here. It's pretty detailed. It's got like designs going all across it. Very cool. And it looks so neat in the picture. I was like, oh my god, I want to try this. 
And that treasure chest mold was five dollars and thirty nine cents. That comes with the hardware and everything. So to me, that's a pretty good deal, considering it came with everything you need. Came with everything you need. Can't beat that. All right, let me get drinking my coffee here, so it don't get cold on me. Sorry, guys, I gotta have my coffee. We're almost to the end. We've got about three more things to go. So I got this because I want to try this. I've got some wood blanks. A whole bunch of them, actually. Big ones, small ones, you name it. And I watched Steve McDonald do this. Using this pen. And it's called a word-burning pen. And... You basically draw on the wood with it, and then you heat it up, and it shows the different birch board, linden plank, aspen planks, poplar planks, walnut planks, uh, board high density, and like I said, you can use a lighter or a torch, it shows on here. But you basically draw with it, and then you can do it. It makes it look like wood burning. And I thought, how fun would that be to wood burn something, a design onto one of those squares, make it a coaster, and then resin over the top of it. I was like, I can't wait to try these. So we will definitely be trying this. I'll get my torch out. I also have my heat gun. So if I wanted to use it, I could. I thought that would just be fun. I was like, that would just be so much fun to play with. Alright, so we have a roll of tape. And it is yellow. Which one is this? Oh, one roll of uh, yellow flowers, two dollars and forty-eight cents. Flowers fall between bottles. Oh, it's got little bottles on. It. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so I want to see something here. I see that they're iridescent already. Fair amount on there. It's not like a crazy amount, but considering it was two dollars and forty-eight cents, I want to see what this looks like here. There should be a perforated piece on it, surely. Coming off here. At least get it started anyway. Maybe that way it'll come off. Oh, there we go. And where's the end here? That's right here. No. No, it's coming right in here. Anyway, trying to find the end of this. There we go. Sorry, guys. Just want to pull this open here and see what we got. There we go.
Can you see these? These are cute. Now, I can already tell by looking at these. These are pretty, but they're not as vibrant and as sharp as the ones that Claire did for the washi tape shop. But they're not bad for $2.48. They're cute. They really are. And I think they would be cute in a project. And I think we're at the end, guys. Yep, we're at the end. And this is five rolls. Of small clear. Oh, here. It goes like this, I think. right here oh, I'm gonna take that one loose too there we go so we've got one with like little daisies on it here Huh? We got daisies. We got little multicolored flowers. This one here is like little pastel flowers. And it's like, I don't want to say scotch tape, but it's like a clear version, kind of. But it's not. It's not sticky here. So I'm assuming we pulled it back off. Yeah, it looks like there's a back on it. So, we got that one. We've got this one here. Looks like another one like that. And then we got some more of the daisy ones. Yeah, small daisies. That one didn't say. Yeah, so five of those, and they were dollar sixty-eight. So we got some of these to try. Um, definitely got some new molds to play with. Let me know what your favorite mold was. I kind of, right now, I'm kind of leaning towards the, mm, I don't know, I would say either the snake, because I kind of think he's going to be cool, or, I don't know, there's a couple that I'm really, really intrigued by, but I'm going to say the snake and probably the little, tr little treasure box, I think are my two that I'm looking the most forward to. And maybe that flower, because I watched her do that flower one, and it was stunning, guys. Beautiful, beautiful. And I'm pretty sure her name's Resin, though. I'm pretty sure that was who I saw do it. And, like I said, it was just amazing. Such a beautiful job she did with it. Alright, making sure I don't have anything in here. Sometimes stuff gets, like... Look on my list. Snake mold, bunny mold, branch, door plate, earring studs. Silicone mat, resin mold wind chime, moon candle holder, defensive mold, treasure chest, cat on mood, wind burning pen, and cosmos. Yep, we got everything, guys. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, perfect time to do so. Uh, guys, my video tomorrow is dropping in the morning. It's a collaboration for Easter collaboration with Claire from Claire's Crafty Corner. There's a link in my description box of my video for all the other artists that are participating in the collaboration. Go ahead, show everybody some love, guys. I appreciate Claire so much for doing this. You know, she includes people that want to join in, and I, I'm i just so blown away by this. I really am. Um, I appreciate it, her doing it so much, and because it takes time. She's got to, you know, we've got to send her our channels, and she's got to put everything in. And she's doing it not only on here, she's doing it on Instagram. 
and I want to say Facebook too, maybe. And uh, I'm like, that's it's not a not an easy task. So she's putting in a whole lot of effort for this, and I just really want to tell her thank you so much for that, and for letting us join in with her collaboration. So I hope everybody has a wonderful evening. I hope everybody stays happy, healthy, blessed, and safe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Bye.